So I'm just right now about to sit down and make some calls to get caught up on the history on some of the cars. What's going on? Hi, is this Garth? Yes. This is Alyssa from Graveyard Cars. Oh, Alyssa, I thought it was your dad. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I actually had met him last summer when he came to the shop, so it was really easy to talk to him on the phone. Yeah, what I'm doing is kind of calling and touching bases um, and kind of just catching up on what I've been left out on. Yeah, my dad just seems to kind of shove papers and files and he doesn't really have any headings or any, yeah, my dad's a mess. I bought that thing, I'm gonna say 15 years ago, Alyssa, and I had in that documentation the original owner's paperwork, who he only had it for a little bit, he sold it to the guy that I bought it from. Garth has a collection of cars, none that need work like the extent of this one. That's why he got in contact with my dad. He just couldn't do it himself. He needed some help, some expertise. You know, I, I didn't want to bring it to anybody because I wanted it to be done right. You know, I saw the show and everything else when I called your dad. We started talking. I said, that's the way I want the car done. And that's what I decided to send it to your dad. It's going to be a lot easier since I'm easier, I'm able to put like a face and a name and a voice to the paperwork rather than just looking at it in like sheets of paperwork because I really don't, I mean, looking about the car, they're just cars to me. They don't, that doesn't make much sense. So. <laughs> hey, listen, good luck and enjoy working with your dad and taking care of everything now. Good talking to you. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Now that we have the complete drivetrain installed in our 1970 Hemi Charger, there's still a lot of little things that aren't on our progress board that need to be done. So I'm gonna round up the team and go over the list of stuff that has to be done now. Okay guys, we got a lot going on. Uh, this is gonna be a really, really busy week. The 400, as you know, failed. So we're gonna disassemble that, find out what's wrong with it. Uh, hopefully it's nothing major. Uh, Alyssa, I would like you to start making some phone calls. I want you to follow up on the Hemi Charger owner and the 446 pack Challenger owner, okay? The rest of the guys and us, we're gonna go over, start disassembling the 71 Dodge Challenger RT383 factory opera window, a uh, formal roof car. If that goes well, I'm hoping in a perfect world, we might be able to get the uh, 70 Coronet RT convertible, 426 semi, four speed, one of two ever made, disassembled. And really, honestly, to, to top off a great week would be to be able to start the engine for the 446 back car and get the 400 Magnum back over on the engine run stand and get it running. So it's only what, 10 things? All right, let's do it. Right now we're getting ready to disassemble the 1971 Dodge Challenger RT. This is a very unique car in as much as it came with the factory formal roof package, which was actually only available on the SE cars in 1970. You couldn't get a 1971 Dodge Challenger with an SE package, but you could get it with the same formal roof and overhead consulate and some of the basic trim. Very unique car, gonna document it as we disassemble it. The other thing we're doing today is this is my new step towards team building. I've got the entire team. I got the painter, the body man, the assembly guy, Everybody involved at Graveyard Cars is going to work as a team to get the car disassembled. This is an opportunity for us to work together as a team. I want this car disassembled in the exact same format that it gets reassembled, and you know all about that. So what's the last things that you're putting on the car when it gets over to your stall? The interior. You're getting doing the interior, doing the exterior trim, ornamentation, so that's the first stuff that's going to come off. Um, this is very much like being down at Gitmo, all right? I know you're not familiar with that because now you guys are from the service. We follow orders or people die. It's that simple. Colonel Jessup, as you were. 